All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of New Delhi, India. Presenting the challenger, the giant. And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee! UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up or are you just expecting they're gonna stick to what got into the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. Straight punch lands.
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Big kick lands. Let it go now. Ooh, head kick lands from Curtis. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Misses again with a right punch. What a punch. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Big ball from Bunch lands. Now he gets back to range. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Single collar tie here. And they set. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed this kick with so much force. He blocks the punch. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. And he switches his stance yet again. <laughs> Tries the flying knee to no avail. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh. Going out the body with that hook. Well done there by Lee. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well timed knee to the body. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's gotta start blocking these, DC. One more and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Lands with the right hand. Nice body kick. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Right hand upstairs. Blocks that strike. Huge damage from that elbow in the clip. Somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. You start defending yourself, well, I'm going to stop the fight. you got to keep your hands up. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and that 
some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big head kick lands. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Defense there, huge block for him. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Just out of range with that right hand. They continue to exchange. Collar tie now. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked offensive <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know. You I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's some guy. I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. And he's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off. Of his well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Nice punch here. Switching stances here. What a body kick. Nice counter shot there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his roots. His head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overy versus Ngannou. If you know, they still haven't found Alistair Overy's head. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Leg kick. Lee's now dealing with a cheap cut. 
And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Ooh, what a punch. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. He'll finish this fight. Nice sneaky hit kick. Straight right, he misses. And he landed the right hand there. Slips the punch. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that... Wow. Oh, So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do next. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, right hand gets up to block him. Nice loop and punch. Liver kick. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure. Oh. 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 He gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kenny Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has the opponent hurt very badly. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you're chest to chest, you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Lee's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Close guard. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Well placed kick there by Lee. Back to his feet. Nice head kick. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. He blocks the shot. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, 
Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Big leg kick land. How good is that right here? Oh, big head kick. Some nice back and forth action here. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Waiting seconds here of round number three. Sidekick lands for him there, Chance. A lot of times that is used to manage space. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the oh, What a head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about dust. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside legs. Split the guard lands the right Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a pin. Do you believe it? And that's going to do it. He's done. He's done. <laughs> I should say so. A tremendous kick to end that fight tonight caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact.
Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 54 seconds of round number four. To claim the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lee. All right, so we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of hype and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he remains the champion in the UFC's biggest and most